Hello and welcome to this video on why 2D lookup. Friends, first let's try to understand the situations where we need 2D lookup. Imagine you have a table which looks like a 90 degree drawn table. You have two variables, one on the horizontal header, one on the first column. And you have to dig out some value which is inside the table. One close example could be a situation like this. You have the location names such as Amsterdam, London, New York on the horizontal header. And in the first column, you have the product names. Based on the product name and the location, one has to dig out the price from inside the table. So if you want to save yourself from the complex nested if statements, then you should think of VLOOKUP with MATCH, that is 2D lookup. So unless you want to write a formula with those number of parentheses closed, I suggest we get back to VLOOKUP with MATCH. So before I show you a live example in Excel, let me give you the brief strategy of how the chemistry between VLOOKUP and MATCH works. MATCH is going to help you find the position number at the point where the column index number of VLOOKUP is mentioned. When they both join hands together, the chemistry goes like this. VLOOKUP will take up the entire table array and MATCH, which is a junior formula, will follow where the senior has started and ends where the senior has ended. So time for a live example. Let's move ahead. So here is where you have the 90 degree table and that answer has to be fetched from inside the table based on the two input cells. So let me write VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, look for product one because that's a value which I see in the first column appearing. I press comma, I choose entire table array and this is the senior formula area, which means the entire table area taken. As usual, I press F4 comma to move. Now on a common average day, you would have looked at the second yellow cell and counted the column index number one, two, three and given three, right? Well, this is a static data. If the second yellow cell is changed from London to New York, you'll have to recalculate and give four instead of three. Well, I would want to automate this through match. I'll come back to match once I finish the entire structure of VLOOKUP. So I press comma and I use zero or false for exact match. If you want to know more about one or true, you should watch our video on why we look up with true. For now, let me focus on match. So match, you are here to tell me London is positioned in the first, second, third or fourth column. So match, please look for London. Okay, comma. Lookup array indicates the junior coverage area. So as per our logic, junior follows senior. Let me start from where senior has begun and end where senior has ended. Mind you, lookup array means junior or just one part of row or column, but never the entire table. So I press F4, comma, and zero for exact match. So what match does is it looks for London in this green marked area and gives me the position number. I press enter and just to give you a hint what does match do, I'm going to paste the formula of match right now. Notice as London, I get three, as Amsterdam, I get two, and as New York, I get four. And which is why you see answers changing as the inputs are changing. So friends, this is a situation where you need 2D lookup or we lookup with match. The chemistry between them is something like this. And when they work together, match is junior, VLOOKUP being senior. Junior follows senior. Remember that. So that was a short video on why 2D lookup. Hope you loved it.